Today is December 5th, 2024. On December 5th in 2017, Google's AlphaZero AI program defeated a champion chess program after only four hours of self-training. This demonstrated a remarkable advancement in artificial intelligence capabilities. My name is Nicodemus, and welcome back to the Disruptive Technologies podcast. As it crosses the $100,000 mark, Bitcoin is making some serious waves worldwide. It's bringing together leaders from all corners in its support. Take Eric Adams. He's the mayor of New York City. Back in early 2022, he showed his confidence in Bitcoin by taking his first three paychecks in Bitcoin and Ethereum. That's about $32,000 at the time. Since then, Bitcoin's value has more than doubled. Ethereum has not been far behind with substantial gains. In spite of encountering some criticism and legal bumps, Adam is still a strong advocate for cryptocurrency. He faces criminal charges for not reporting his crypto investments. He was also accused of accepting perks from Turkish officials. Nonetheless, Adams continues to support crypto. He's even started aligning himself with Donald Trump, another crypto supporter. Trump is gearing up for another term in office. On the other side of the globe, Russian President Vladimir Putin has also thrown his weight behind Bitcoin. Now, he said that Bitcoin cannot be banned, and he noted Bitcoin's role in bypassing Western sanctions. At a forum in Moscow, Putin emphasized that Bitcoin and other digital payment methods are unstoppable. He said that they will keep growing because people are always looking for cheaper and more reliable ways to handle money. Russia is shifting its stance on crypto. It's allowing mining in certain regions. Russia is also exploring digital currencies for international payments. So the goal here is to reduce reliance on the US dollar and the euro. Additionally, Russia is developing stablecoins to facilitate payments with friendly countries. This further weaves crypto into its financial strategies. But it is not all smooth sailing for Bitcoin. Analysts like Valentin Fournier from BRN are sounding the alarm. They warn that a considerable number of Bitcoin holders are looking to cash in on recent gains. This is creating a sell wall that could stir up some market turbulence. Fournier points out that the current sell wall is over 4,000 Bitcoin and remains pretty solid. This means that Bitcoin needs to overcome the selling pressure to keep its upward momentum. The situation illustrates the volatility of the crypto market. It also shows the delicate balance between buying and selling that can sway Bitcoin's price. Adding another layer to the mix, the British National Crime Agency recently cracked down on a Russian money laundering operation. This operation relied on crypto to fund espionage activities. This is yet another skirmish that reinforces the ongoing battle between the authorities and those looking to exploit digital currencies for illegal purposes. While Bitcoin is lauded for its potential to empower individuals and disrupt traditional financial systems, it also brings challenges in the form of regulation and security. Now, looking at these developments, it's clear that Bitcoin is more than just a digital asset. It's becoming an essential tool in global finance and politics. Eric Adams' successful investment and continued support show the personal and political perks of embracing cryptocurrency. This is true even with the legal risks involved. Putin's endorsement and Russia's calculated use of crypto to dodge sanctions reveal how digital currencies are being leveraged internationally. They're challenging established financial norms. Meanwhile, market analysts and law enforcement agencies are demonstrating the inherent volatility and regulatory hurdles that come with Bitcoin's growth. The widespread support for Bitcoin from influential leaders like Eric Adams and Vladimir Putin firms its significance as a transformative force in the world economy. Its planned use in global finance also shows this significance. Although contending with market pressures and regulatory hurdles, Bitcoin's ability to unite diverse political figures affirms its enduring value. Its resilience amid challenges affirms its key role in shaping a future of money and international relations. As more leaders recognize and harness the power of Bitcoin, its influence is set to expand. It will challenge traditional financial systems and empower individuals worldwide. And that's that for that. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe so you can stay updated on all things disruptive. I want to thank you for listening to this episode of the Disruptive Technologies Podcast. We'll see you next time.